What's up guys and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Now, things look weird and I have a little bit of explaining to do. First off, I just wanna say a wholehearted thank you to everybody who has supported this series. I'm not sure, it might be, it might not be, this might be the last episode of the series. And I'll explain that as we play, but for right now I have some more important things to explain between episode four and this episode, episode five. Unfortunately, um, my recorder was like, you know what, I'm gonna poop all over myself and just like the recording corrupted and I played so much that um, my quick save, like I couldn't go back to the beginning of the recording. So you guys missed game changing cutscenes that were crucial to the story. So I actually started a second save on a second user just to replay that kind of stuff. So in the last episode we stopped about here to um, which was a tower. And basically what I did in that episode is I flew down here, stopped here and then explored the town. So now I have a new save going on and we'll return to the old save at the end of today's episode. But there were some key things Things I did in this forest that my save, like I can't revert my save to. So I started a new save to do them. First off, let's go ahead and drop this. I feel like I'm way better at the game now though because I had to replay the game basically twice to get to this point again. So let's go ahead and do this, open this up. But okay, we got a topaz. We're entering a forest here to meet what's her face. We're gonna go ahead and do all of that in today's episode. I'm gonna go over the town and do sort of like a brief explanation of everything and just sort of, sort of do a few things I could not do before. Oh, hey, I don't know who you are. Get along, little Doki. What is this? Of course, if you want me to make your own elixirs, you'll need to use bugs, not to mention some monster parts. Who is just the cleverest donkey in all the donkeydom? That's right, you. <laughs> oh, he's talking to the donkey. Oh dear, do you mean to tell me that you had not asked me how to make elixirs? Saying, I see you eyeballing the packs of my donkey. Want to see my goods? Not right now. So for those for those of you who were scared about me saying this might be the last episode of the series, you might remember that in the beginning of the episode, or not the beginning of the episode, but the first episode of the series, that I simply did not know how long this series was going to be. And that's for a few reasons. One thing, you know, I do YouTube full time right now, you know, just because a lot of people, you know, whenever I po only post like one video a day, people ask for more. And to do more than that, you sort of have to do it full time. So right now I'm doing YouTube full time. I post three to four videos a day and everybody seems to be happy with it. But with that being said, there are some sacrifices I have to make with that. Like, you know, if more people would watch a different game that I could post in a day, then I need to sort of make sure I do that. And I try not to tell you guys these things because I don't want to make it all about the views for you guys and all that kind of stuff because, you know, this is for fun. It's for fun for you guys to watch and to enjoy, so I don't really want to ruin it with that kind of experience, so I just sort of keep it to myself. But unfortunately, this series hasn't been doing well in the numbers, and I like I really don't want to make it about that. But for right now, it, it might mean that I might not post the series very often, just because I need to be able to have time to work on other things. And I'm not gonna like throw out numbers like, oh, if this video hits a thousand likes, I'm gonna post episode six right away, because I don't like being that guy. I'm just gonna go ahead and you know say right now to those of you who have watched and supported the series so far, thank you. You've been very passionate about it and I love the passion that you show and I appreciate it if you keep showing it. I might continue this series because I'm genuinely enjoying this game and the reactions you guys have in the comment section, but I will be honest in the fact that I might not be able to get episodes out very often at all, if at all, depending on how many games are released because of I need to just keep on doing what people are interested in. You know, that's sort of the, you know, the idea of having a YouTube channel. With that being said, let's get started with the game. I'm sure most of you are tired of hearing me blab about it. First off, you might see this right here going on. If we pull up an apple, and this, this episode is gonna sound like, oh, we don't have any apples? All right, I'm gonna have to buy an apple, but all these sh like shops around us are all stores. So this was a, um, oh, this is an inn. That's a bow and arrow shop, and then this is a store. And I have bought and sold to these people in my main save now. I'm gonna leave before I accidentally explode that. Oh, <laughs> okay, that was funny. Um, Okay, hey, how are you doing? Do you sell apples? You don't sell apples. Okay, you're useless to me right now. But yeah, we gotta get an apple, or basically what we do for that is that we put an apple in the center there, and that will um, spawn in another Karak, and then um, it'll give us another Karak seed. But anyways, hello! You there, who are you? How dare you trespass upon Lady Impa's abode? Hmm? Is that a Sheikah Slate? But that would mean you aren't. No, it's not possible, can it be? Um, what's up? You know my face from somewhere? Please forgive us for behaving so rudely. Of course we had heard the legends from Lady Impa herself. Please, friend, go ahead and step inside. What? 
I guess my uh, my popularity precedes me. Excuse me. It's like, whoa, that guy was blinking red. <laughs> I don't want to touch him. Oh, hello. Who are you? Oh, you're a custodian. A man? Yeah. Huh? I is that? It's a Sheikah Slate. Could you be the hero my grandmother told me about? What What was his name? Link. Link. Um. Oh, it's not that I forgot. I'm just bad with speaking. As for me, my name is Pa. pa, pa oh, my name is Payan. Whew, I got it out. I know I should be able to say that easily, seeing how it's my no own name at all. I'm, I'm so sorry. Anyway, my grandmother's been awaiting you, your return since I was little. P please hurry inside. I mean, there's nothing wrong with having, you know, a stutter. I had one for most of my life. Took a lot of work to get rid of it. And sometimes I still have it. So <laughs> it's not to be ashamed of. Oh, hi. Finally awake. Yeah, I am. I want to go back to bed, though. It has been quite a long time, Link. I am much older now, but you remember me, don't you? Ooh, flashback. Here we go. Oh, no, no, it's not. <laughs> What's the matter? Oh, no, you're not gonna voice act anymore? You're looking at me as though you're, I'm a stranger to you, and those eyes, they lack the light of familiarity. It is I, courageous one, Impa. Surely you at least remember the name Impa. Nope. Oh. I see, so you have lost your memory. Oh. Well, it matters not. In fact, that might actually be a blessing in disguise for the time being. Dearest Link, please come a bit closer. All right, so apparently we know this lady from some past situation. A hundred years ago, yes, a hundred years ago, the kingdom of Hyrule was destroyed. After you fell, Princess Zelda's final wish was to place you in a sacred slumber. And then, all alone, alone she went to face Ganon. Before Princess Zelda went nobly to meet her fate, she entrusted me with some words she wished to say to you. I have been waiting a hundred years to deliver the princess's message. Oh. Have you seen where I put my toothbrush? <laughs> However, <laughs> these words, which the princess risked her life to leave you, well, if you are to hear them, you must be prepared to risk your life as well. But I am afraid to burden that burden, all right, I'm afraid that burden may be too much to bear while you are still without your memories. I leave the choice to you. When you feel you are ready to receive the princess's message, return to me. Maybe she like lost her Apple AirBuds. The word that the princess risked her life to impart to you, I cannot pass them on to someone who lacks conviction. Are you prepared to risk your life for the greater good? Sure thing. Haha! <laughs> <laughs> Not a memory to your name, yet you are in as intent as ever to charge forward of only courage and justice on your side. You have not changed a bit. Once a hero, always a hero. Very well. Since you have lost your memory, I will recount for you all that has happened. Ooh, story time. Now's a real flashback. The history of the royal family of Hyrule is also the history of Calamity Ganon, a primal evil that has endured over the ages. This evil has been turned back time and time again by a warrior wielding the soul of a hero and a princess who carries the blood of the goddess. With the passage of time, each conflict with Ganon faded into legend. So listen closely as I tell you of this legend that occurred 10,000 years ago. Hyrule was then blossoming as a highly advanced civilization. Even the most powerful monsters posed little threat to the denizens of the realm. The people thought it wise to utilize their technological prowess to ensure the safety of the land should Calamity Ganon ever return. And that's where all the towers came from. 
They constructed four mechanical wonders that came to be known as the Divine Beasts. They also built a legion of autonomous weapons called Guardians. The Divine Beasts were piloted by four individuals of exceptional skill from across the land. And thus, the plan to neutralize Ganon was forged. But it didn't work, did it? I mean, I guess this game wouldn't exist if it did. Upon Ganon's inevitable return to Hyrule, the princess and the hero fought alongside these four champions against this ancient evil. The Guardians were tasked with protecting the hero as the Divine Beasts unleashed a furious attack upon their terrible foe. And when the hero wielding the sword that seals the darkness delivered his final blow, the princess used her sacred power to seal away Calamity Ganon. And that's the story. Yeah. Cool. A hundred years ago, in preparation for the foretold revival of a Ganon, we strove to follow the lead of, a, of our ancestors of 10,000 years prior. But in the end, despite our best efforts and careful planning, we underestimated his power. In order to avoid making that great mistake again, the princess left you these words. Free the four divine beasts. That is what she said. The four divine, no, no, I pressed the wrong button. Understood, okay, whatever. Free the divine beasts. <laughs> Well, I, I mean, I guess long story short, free them, you dingus, just do it already. It seems to me that your Sheikah slate is not yet complete. The device Princess Zelda left you is your guide and also your memory. Now, let's see. Some at the re someone at the research lab in Hatino Village might be able to help you. Hatino Village? Oh, that is over here. The location shining on the eastern edge is Hatino Village. It is a small village, one of very few places that avoided suffering significant damage during the Great Calamity. Locked mementos, cool. Bunch of new main quests, I'll take them. You are Princess Zelda's only hope, and Hyrule's as well. You cannot turn back now. Follow your heart and seize your destiny. Sure. I mean, Apple AirPods are really expensive. I would love to help Princess Zelda find them. <laughs> I mean, it's a big game though, they could be anywhere. Is something wrong? Do not tell me the steel has slipped from your spine. I realize you have just awoken. I am not suggesting that you must defeat Calamity Ganon right this moment, but hey, I'm not stopping yet. <laughs> For now, you should focus on getting that broken Sheikah Slate fixed. Hurry to the research lab in Hatino Village. Understood, okay. I just wanna see if there's any more information I can drag out of her. Um, Princess Zelda is fighting Calamity Ganon all on, she's still fighting him? Hundred years later, you are the only one who can save her. The only one who can save Hyrule. Now go, you must. Cool. Okay. <laughs> so that way, we're mostly caught up with what I wanted to do before I switch over back to my main save and we start again from there. There is one last thing I want to do because I actually went on a quest and helped a certain person over here who isn't here right now. Is he on his day job? He is. So basically, he is like he lost his chickens. I think. Let's see. Recently, the Yuki clan has suspiciously has been acting suspiciously. It is our duty to protect Lady Impa. Yuki clan, we of the Sheikah tribe have long been heralded as people of great wisdom. Our technology became the key to seeming Ganon away during the Great Calamity some 10,000 years ago. At one point, our technology was praised as a power of the gods, but eventually to people, the people turned on it, turned on us. Our creation came to be viewed as a threat to the kingdom. The Sheikah, the Sheikah became outcast, forced into exile. Some, like us, choose to cast off our technological advances and strove li to live normal lives. Others fostered a hatred towards the kingdom and that stunned them, or shunned them. <laughs> These sad souls, uh, 
swore their allegiance to Ganon. They now call themselves the Yiga Clan. Their sole mission is to eliminate all that stand against Ganon. Please, dear hero, be careful out there. Sure thing, but what about your chickens? All right, I just sat by the fire for a little bit and there he is. There are cats making noises in my office, which is just great. But hey, he's there now, so let's go and talk to him. How could this happen? Sir, Sir Link, my cuckoos. My precious cuckoos. They haven't come home yet. Now that my wife wants nothing to do with me, my cuckoos are my only emotional support. <laughs> what do I do? Ah! I'll go find them. Really? Thank you so much. I have 10 cuckoos in total. Hopefully you'll be able to find them all. So if we look, we can actually see that we just got our first, um, yeah, well, let's see, flown the coop, as you can see there. It's our first ever side quest, flown the coop. So let's go ahead and try to do that. Now there are 10 chickens in specific spots around this village, and I did this like blind in my first recording of this, but of course I gotta record it twice because life loves me. We're gonna, nope, the wrong button. Um, Hold on, uh, yeah, wrong button. <laughs> let's go over here and we're gonna throw you in, you're gonna be the first of 10. But you can see there's already three in there, so it actually makes four out of 10, and that does count that way. Where they are all over the place, so we're gonna go ahead and try to get all of them. Um, there's also like some locals who are wearing pumpkin versus carrots for some reason. I don't really know, and I really don't really care. <laughs> it's really not all that interesting, to be honest. Well, let's go ahead and um, bring you down, because you were in, in that little coop right there. And, and you can actually fly with them as well, which is really cool. Whee! It's like, you know, hovering. So if you somehow didn't have the, uh, what's it called? Hold on, let me, let me actually get you in there a little bit more if I can. Hold on, this is this is actually bad. Uh, pick you up. There you go. And then drop. <laughs> but um, I guess if you don't have the paraglider, you can grab yourself a chicken, and that might help you out a little bit. I don't know how much it would help you. Don't think it can replace a chicken. Now the hardest one is that there is actually one way up here. So we're gonna go ahead and do that one now, just to get it out of the way. So let me hop up. Is it not up here? Um. Oh, is it up there? Okay, it's up there. All right, ready? What? What? Oh, got it. Okay, so let's go ahead and climb up this person's house. I'm sure that's not violating any laws. And then we can, what? Oh, got it. And then we can, <laughs> awesome. So there's still more around, because that makes um six out of 10, so we still have four more left. We just gotta uh, look around for them, because I know there's one over here, and there's another over there. I think there's another over there. Like, there's, they're, they're all over the place, these chickens. Luckily, they never leave the town itself. They like they find their specific spot, and you can always find them there. So we're gonna go ahead and bring you back as well. But yeah, it's actually pretty fun to catch these chickens. Once you know where they are, it sort of removes the stress of it. But yeah, as soon as we're done doing this mini quest, this side quest, because I wanted to show it off because it's our first ever side quest, and for those of you who are following along, I just want to be able to help you out a little bit. Yeah. Um. And I'm gonna throw you right there. So that right there is one, two, three, four, five, I think almost six, maybe. I don't know if I can talk to him to get a count up of it, but we'll find out soon enough. I'm gonna go and hop over here. Oh, hmm. I guess I can't do that. Oh, geez. Ha, it's rare to see a young lad like you in a village like this. I don't wanna talk to you right now. You aren't a part of the Yiga clan, are you? Nope. <laughs> I'm just bowing your leg. You look so serious. I couldn't help but go, go, go to you a bit. We call those who swear. Yeah, I know. I just learned about it. Well, let's just say that they're blah, blah, blahs. It seems they're creative, uh, uh, active again, not creative. They're active again ever since the big earthquake the other day. But don't worry. I don't think you're part of that awful clan. Eaglin, the earthquake was all the towers rising. I can figure that much out just by looking at you. Please don't hold it against me. Uh, here, take this in exchange. Oh, pumpkins! See, he's gonna blab me about how nice the pumpkins are. The guy who talks about the carrots and everything also will give you a free carrot if you want more. You can go ahead and buy buy them from my shop or something. So in here, there is another chicken, but this lady really likes this plum patch and won't let you in them, so you have to wait until nighttime to get that chicken. Oh wait, what is this? I found a sneaky river snail. Cool, this large glow-in-the-dark snail lives in the fresh water. When cooked into a dish, it heightens your senses so you can move about silently. Cool, cool, cool. And here's a carrot patch. Do not care right now. Hmm, where is this next one? I think the next one is down here. Yep, I see him. Wop, wop. 
Whee! Gotcha. <laughs> I got you, Mr. Chicken. I got you, Mr. Chicken. Yeah, we're just gonna try to bring all of them back. We're making some good progress. This took me a long time the first time around, because they they, that one on the roof was a sneaky one. I should get going. Where are you going, dude? Hurry up. I guess he's not as chicken patch now. That was the other guy, okay. Okay. So let's try to sneak on over here and throw. Yeah, okay. So, I guess well, there's one more we can get before we try to get the one in the plum patch that she's protecting. Like she'll yell at you and then it'll like teleport you out of there. So you can't just do it right in front of her, unfortunately. So we gotta wait until nighttime. But you know, like it doesn't actually harm the plum patch or anything. She's just being a big baby. But this one's actually pretty easy to do. I don't know how we got um, way up here. Let's go ahead. Oh, you know what? Hold on. Let me go ahead and get an apple really quick as well, so I can do that uh, Kurok thing and I can show you guys that soon. Let's go ahead and jump, jump. Oh gosh, this is actually not the best idea. Oh no. All right, just gotta angle it up, angle it up, and fall. Nice. <laughs> so let's talk to you. Have I gotten all but one? I, I should have 10. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. So I know where the last one is, but we should probably wait by the fire, which is, you know what I do, there's a fire down here. Very conveniently, we can wait till the fire until nighttime, bring him the last Kuko, and then talk to him the next day, and finally get this quest done. Okay, so I'm back. It's nighttime now, about 9 p.m. Is she there? She is not there, so now we can sneak on over once my stamina refills. Okie dokie, okie dokie, hop on over, pick this up, and then hop on over as fast as I can before she catches me and does something rude. I don't want that. No, I don't. Oh no, I didn't mean to drop you. Come back, come back. <laughs> and then we throw him, in, throw him in, and then we're done. And he's still standing here. My precious Kukos. Well, now it's his precious Kukow. There we go. Updated, flown the coop. Let's talk to you. Link, my Kukos. My sweet little baby Kukos. They're all back. Thank you so much. Really, I can never thank you enough. This isn't much, but I insist taking. Purple rupee. Nice stuff. That's 50 rupees for us. Um, <laughs> We won't be using it here. Though I do wish my wife would come back to you, just like the Kukos did. Also, one last thing is that over here, this is actually a clothing shop. I do buy clothes from there, I'll show those off. But now what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be moving back to our main save, the one that you guys saw from episode one to four, so all the stuff that you know we have should be there. I actually have less stuff here, so. I have tons of awesome new stuff that I'll show you guys. We'll show it there and be right back. Okay, so we're back. I forgot to do the Karak seed thing, but basically you put an apple in here, and it'll be like Tweehee, yeah, 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 apple, apple, something. <laughs> but okay, so that's about it. I mean, like I said, I caught up. Every other house is a house that isn't a shop, but this is a clothing shop. There's usually a lady out here trying to sell you stuff, like, come on in, and she apparently is like, you are totally my type link, even though she's like way older, and she is her twin, so she's exactly the same as her. But she has like a bunch of really expensive equipment. I bought this hood right here, so we can go ahead and check that out really quickly. Um, it is right here. It is the Helion Hood, which is a, ooh, where'd it go, where'd it go? Um, a hood woven using traditional Helion methods. Um, it's made from ooh, sturdy material to protect travelers from harsh sun and weather. So that'll be pretty nice if we ever go to a hot area. Not only that, but there is some other stuff here that's sort of way above my pay grade right now. Oh wait, never mind. I just wanted to look at it. Um, and then there's the pants right here. So eventually we'll get a little bit of everything here, but this is the cool stuff. We got um, stealth items, which will make you more stealthy, and this cool stealth mask, which will make us look way different than we are currently, but it's super duper expensive. Hopefully at some point we can get that stuff. But yeah, it's very, very cool. And besides that, we take a look at our quests. We can just sort of catch up with what we're doing right now. So of course we have three main quests right now. We got destroy Ganon, free the divine beast, or locked momentums, me mementos, which I think will make the divine beast quest easier. So locked mementos is a good choice right now. But first thing I want to do is you might notice that there is a shrine up here, and this shrine is pretty useful because I guess we can you know go ahead do this one, and then we'll be able to. Teleport to Kakariko Village, that's what this place is called, right? And be able to get stuff done here whenever we need to. So, starting from this moment onwards, this series is blind again, so I <laughs> hope you enjoy. For those of you who like blind series, which I think most people do nowadays, it's just sort of the thing to do. But let's go ahead and climb up here, we're on the Telonake Shrine. Let's see what we can do here, huh? All right, I'm finally glad we're progressing. I haven't played this game in a little while, I missed it. It was a lot of fun. Ooh, another shrine to enter. I might start skipping that cutscene though, it takes forever. 
right now, we can just go on down. And I don't know what the shrine's gonna be. I don't know if we're gonna get a new rune, or maybe they'll just get more complicated here on out, because I can't imagine that every single one of them is gonna get you a rune. Like, that would be way too much, right? Like, that'd be like a hundred different runes in the game, and that's just like, wow, that's a lot of content game. Maybe too much. Instead, I'd rather there just be four or five very useful runes. Whoa, what is going on here? To you who sets foot in the shrine, I am Talo Neg. I share with you my knowledge that th 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 it may please Hylian. Talo Neg's teaching, Talo Neg shrine. So there's actually no rune mention. I don't see anywhere to get a rune. So definitely this is different. What is it gonna be in here? This is gonna be, wow, is this giving me stuff right away? The shield of the mind's eye, 16 point shield. That's way better than what we have. A small Sheikah made shield. Its design is intended to decrease blind spots without sacrificing too much defense. Your inventory is full. Hold on then, hold on. Um, What can I drop? That's four, that's 10. Definitely drop in the soup lid open. All right, cool stuff then. There we go. And I'm going to assume that this one's gonna give me a sword. So what can I drop? Because I'm maxed out on swords as well. I might drop the Traveler's Spear for now. And we'll go ahead and we'll try this one out. Ooh. So what is this gonna be? A sword? Eightfold blade, holy cow! A single-edged sword, traditional to the Sheikah tribe, forged using an ancient technology. It just may be among the sharpest conventional weapon ever made. Wow, very, very cool. So let me go ahead and equip that, because I have a feeling if they're giving us this stuff, just like in every other trial, we stinking need it. All right. What's happening? Is this our first boss fight? This might be our first boss fight. Hello, you are horrifying. Use the side hop to avoid enemy attacks. This will create an opening that you can use to strike back. Okay. It's like Splatoon music. I don't know why, it just made me think of Splatoon. Okay, so I can go like this and then I can jump. Oh, I didn't realize I could do that. Whoop, whoop. Ready, are you gonna shoot, dude? Oh, you know what you're gonna do? You're gonna swing. Whoop, whoop. All right, hit you. All right, I think we're hitting you. Um, I don't know if this is doing anything. Oh, we gotta hit you and like your like your your blinky parts, right? No. That's not doing anything. Why is this not doing anything? Am I doing something wrong? Uh There has to be something I'm doing wrong here. It's not doing any damage to you. Um Wow, ow, that hurt. <laughs> Uh, dodge enemy attacks by hopping. I know I've been doing that game. What do you want from me? I'm just gonna wait right here. There we go. Flurry rush. Oh no, I messed it up. Yo, let's try that again. Ready? Set. Come on, attack me, attack me, attack me. What? <laughs> come on, come on, come on. I'm pressing the button. What do you want from me? There we go. Oh, we are tearing you up. Get out of here. Do a backflip to avoid enemy attacks and create an opening strike. It would also amuse me. Do a backflip, Link. I'm bored. All right. What? No, wait. There we go. Ooh, what an acrobat. Ready? All right, let's go for it. Ooh, an eight foot. No, my blade! You can repel an attack if you parry with your shield at just the right time. Strike back in the opening you create. Okay. So I can parry in this game. I'm glad it's telling me more combat techniques that I'll probably have to use. Ooh, try that again. Ready, ready? Ooh, get God! Nice. Now what? Build up your power and then release it to unleash a charge attack. Catch your enemies in this motion to damage them. Okay. Ooh, wait, it's not working. Wait, wait, what? But I don't have, okay, I just need to equip my own sword, I think. Um, I'll equip something weak then, maybe? Like a torch? Um, like that? Is that what you wanted? Okay, that is. I'll take stuff now. Can I get a new sword? Because that was awesome. You have done well to learn these crucial skills. Now proceed. I guess I shouldn't have used that. <laughs> I feel like I wasted a really good sword, but what is this? I think he dropped like a lightsaber. Hold on. Guardian sword, this is even better. Never mind, take the other thing. A sword often wielded by guardian scouts is blue energy blade is a product of ancient technology. It's not very durable. Darn, 
ancient gear, ancient screw. I'll just use my handy dandy torch for right now. Any other chests around here? Doesn't look like it, because they hide those chests well. You gotta be careful. Because, you know, sometimes you can miss some good stuff. Uh, so what is this one gonna be? Open this bad boy up, we get ourselves an opal. I don't know, I'm getting sick of these like gems and I have no idea what they do. So hopefully we can just find out. Oh, this dude is decked out, look at him. How you doing? Touch and break. I hope you have insurance on that thing. Your triumph over the, the test of strength subverts a prophecy of ruin. From the ashes of Hyrule, a hero rises. In the name of Goddess Hylia, I bestow upon you this spirit orb. Because we can still earn up spirit orbs to, you know, get hearts and, you know, stamina out of it. I think I'm definitely gonna get a heart next time. Thank you. I appreciate it. Spirit orb. Cool. So there's one out of four, and they give me a full health refill, which I appreciate. May the goddess smile upon you. All right, see you, dude. See you next time on the, the shrine show or something. Sort of feels game showy. <laughs> okay, so we're back out of Kakariko Village. More importantly, I can always teleport there whenever I want to, so what are you doing, kid? <coughs> Mommy's hiding, but I'll find her. Hiding, huh? That's what they all say. All right, so let's go up here. And Maybe I could get a good height advantage because now we gotta make our way up and over. But also, I did sell some stuff. I sold a bunch of like um, Boko Fangs. I didn't really buy anything out of it, but that's how I got enough rupees to buy this hood. See, I have something. I got like a good variety of things right now. Lots of food and stuff. But um, let me take a look at my map. I just sort of want to like assess the situation. Because where do we gotta go right now? We gotta go way out this way. And as you can see, there really isn't too much of a detail on how to get there. We could, of course, try to follow this path. And that might be something I try very soon. I was just curious, where does this lead? Does this have like a specific cause? Because you can see there's sort of like a whole thing here. What? Whoa, glowy bunny! You are adorable! There's more glowy things. It's a cactus. Is that, wait, is that a fairy? What in the world? What did I walk in on? What are the, wh what? Boy, sweet boy, please listen to my story. <laughs> I'll pass, sure thing. I am the great fairy Koteran. You're a fairy? You look like a big old plant. This place was once a beautiful spring, but as time passed, fewer and fewer travelers arrived to offer me rupees. As a result, my power has abandoned me. Well, maybe you should, you know, focus on something a little more natural than cash. I'm nearly powerless now, so I beg you to help. I need rupees to become whole again. This sounds like a scam. All I need is 100 rupees. Once my power has been restored, I can help you do great things, boy. Oh my gosh, it's a huge hand! Ah! Oh! <laughs> That was scary. Now, if you have now, if you have rupees, hand them over to me quickly, in order for me to begin. Also, while you're at it, what is your credit card number? <laughs> there you go. Sure. Ah. <laughs> well, let's hope we didn't get scanned. Thank you. You are too kind. Oh my. Ah, the power! I can now buy new stuff off of Amazon. Oh. Where are Kia? Maybe she needs new furniture. What is happening? Oh, whoa! Aha! Nice to meet you. You should join a basketball team. Okay, that's that's rude to say. Oh, you're tall, but you're really tall. Huh. Oh, what a feeling that the, that first breath of fresh air after an eternity of decay. It's just so intoxicating. Thanks to you, I've been returned to my former glory. And, they, and, and as they say, one good turn deserves another. I can help you, boy. Allow me to enhance your clothing, because you are looking really tacky in those clothes. It's the least I can do, but I will need necessary materials, like another couple hundred rupees. With the power available to me, I should be able to enhance your clothing a little bit. Enhance away, sure. Uh, ooh, okay, so we can increase the hood we just got. Um, we'll need five Okablin horns, which is totally cool. We cannot enhance these things. Uh, let's go ahead and enhance it. Are you sure you want me to enhance the Hillian hood? It'll use um, five of those. All right, let me do my thing. Oh, this is super cool. <laughs> is that it? You just blow some magic onto me? Okay. 
Helian Hood, a hood woven using traditional Hyrulean methods made from sturdy material, a great fairy has increased its defense by one level. Cool, I mean, that's helpful. All finished, just a bit stronger now. Oh. You've heard about set bonuses, right? How a set of clothes that all have been enhanced twice could have a bonus, but only if you wear the whole set. Well, and not all sets have a bonus. I thought I would improve some of the other clothes for you, but it looks like that's not possible right now. Please come back here once you get the same clothes or materials, or once you restore the power of my sisters. See you later. Cool, away! <laughs> weird, really weird. I'll go talk to you, can I jump in? Oh, I can. It's really, it's really warm, I'm sure. I was bubbling before. Wow. <laughs> okay, that was not what I was expecting, but it's it's good to know. Let's get out of here now. I don't want it to get weird. Oh, it's a deer. Beautiful, what is this? It's an acorn, nice. More acorns. Um, I don't know if I wanna go that way. I think that what we should do is if I check, the, check out the map really quick. We're sort of traveling where I want to, but I want to follow this main map now. So we're gonna go ahead, go like this, travel back there. I like how you can literally travel no matter what you're doing. You can be flying, swimming, climbing, and it's instantly you can just boop yourself up. I mean, I don't know if you can in battle, but that would be hilarious. All right, so I'm back in the village. Why I want to travel this main path is I just have a feeling that's really what we should be doing. Oh, can I land on this little post? Let's see if I can. Ooh, I don't know, I'm sort of messing it up. Okay, I did it, I did it, yeah! All right, cool. Whoa, wait, is there something There's something sparkling up there? Let's go check that out. What is that sparkling up there? Can I climb this? I can't, but maybe I can climb this. There was something up there. Here, get up there. There you go. Oh wait, yeah, there's something. It's an arrow. Oh, okay, nothing special. <laughs> Had to check. I mean, if I didn't, I would've drawn me nuts, but I just wanna follow the main path because I have a feeling that like, if we do that, like main key story elements will happen more often and that'll be more helpful. Okay, I'm actually gonna go ahead and change my shield to something. Like I just don't think I need that big fancy one just yet. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> Please don't hurt me. Whoa, wait, what is this? Oh, you know what this is? It's one of those rocks I can mine with my mining thing. Let's go ahead and do that. This thing is almost broken though. So this is probably gonna be the last time I can use it. Let go, um, but it'll be worth it. There you go, it broke it, but we got ourselves a flint. Maybe it wasn't worth it. Strike it with a metallic weapon to generate a spark. This portal fire starter breaks after one use, but it can create a long lasting flame if you use it near firewood. Very cool, actually. I'll have to keep that in mind. And there we go, we got ourselves a portable fire, basically, because we always have some kind of metal object near us. Oh, little frog, I'm gonna get you, I'm gonna get you, I'm gonna get you. <laughs> hot footed, not hot footed enough. Ooh, what is this stuff? Oh, there is definitely a puzzle here. There is definitely a puzzle here. All right, ready? <laughs> hold on, hold on. You know what? I don't need to do it this way. Let me, uh... Wait, this is the wrong one. Uh... Activate. Oh, this is totally how you do it. Hey, it worked! There you go, there's another Korok thing. You're welcome. Yeah, you found me. The Karak seed. The small seed was given the blah, blah, blah. Bye, <laughs> that's it. Well, that's good. Hey, dude. I love the morning light. I got a question for you, kiddo. Are you much of a mountain climber? I was back when I was your age. Nothing got, gets me more going, gets me going more like the sight of a treacherous cliff daring me to climb it. I'm selling a few things I picked up in my travels. Doesn't cost a, to look. I'll take a look. This is my finest stuff. Ingredients guaranteed to give you a boost of vigor when you're out on the road. All right, we got a rhino beetle. That's very pricey. Uh, Staminoca bass, which I think we have one of. I really don't need any of that. Ah, creepy crap. Uh, no, thank you. Thanks. Need anything else? Goodbye. Take care, then. See you, dude. All right, I gotta keep my eye open for secrets, though, because, you know, more stuff with that car exceed could happen quite often. Hmm, oh, wrong button. Let's see, though. I don't see too much going on here, but I could start gliding. And my, my goal will be to follow mostly the main path, just because I feel like it'll lead me to more, you know, useful things to find. I mean, there's things to find everywhere in this game, and that's sort of the thing. But I have a feeling if I follow the main path, it'll benefit me. What is that? Is that one of those things we followed earlier that popped out of the ground? No, this is different. This looks like, like a Totoro kind of thing. 
Shalaka. <laughs> Whenever they have a red thing, you usually can do some kind of side quest. Shalaka, you, you can see me? I can see him. Shalza, Shalaka, it's been over a hundred years since anyone has been able to see me. I messed you and I need your help. Those monsters over there stole my beloved maracas. Over where? Over there, those jerks. I think they're still there on the other side of the rocks. I can't use my powers without them, Shoko. So please, please give me my maracas back from them. Sure thing, dude. The priceless maracas. Here we go. We're gonna go ahead and get this dude's maracas, beat up these evil, evil bokoblins or whatever. Still come, I'm gonna assume bokoblins. Like, who else would take them? Did he say? I'm gonna guess, because I think we could sort of see him. Uh oh. We gotta be careful. I'm gonna go ahead and prepare. Nope. Oh no. Not what I wanted. Oh, hold on. I might uh do this. Throw! Uh, oh gosh, these guys look like they're strong. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and switch to this one then, and then um oh no, it's still reloading. I might as well stay with this one then. Um, drop. There we go. All right, so I need to go ahead and like bring out my bow and arrow. I'll prepare whatever sword I can. This is probably gonna be my best choice right now. It's a soldier's brawl sword. Ooh, they are taking a lot of damage right now. I don't like it. Okay, run, run. Um, I'm gonna drop. These guys are really tough. Ooh, that that helped though. That definitely helped. Um, drop. Oh no, where are you guys going? Oh, you guys running? You scared? You better be scared, you buttberg. Oh, I missed. Oh, I missed. Oh, I missed. <laughs> I'm awful at this game, by the way, if you haven't noticed. Definitely need more arrows, but do I? I do have some bomb arrows. Dang it! I have one bomb arrow. I'm awful at this game. Oh, they're just back to chanting? All right, there we go. I got rid of one of them. No, no, hold on, drop. I didn't want to do that. Where is it? I didn't get him, I didn't get him, I didn't get him. Oh man, I'm so bad at battling. I haven't played in a couple of days. Drop. All right, there you go. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just slice and dice you. Ready, slice, dice. Did I get him? No, no, not yet, not yet. Oh wait, yeah, now I got him. No, come back, I want your sweet stuff. Hey, look at that. So that chest is unlocked. So we'll go ahead and check that out in a second. For now though, I gotta get some sweet moolah. What is going on here? We got us a boom, bokoblin horn, and a bokoblin fang. These things sell for pretty pennies and seem to just be helpful, so I don't mind getting them. Um, I don't need that club. This is a shield. I can't carry any more shields. Let's get over here then. They have to have a few things. Hmm. Uh, I gotta like, because I'm just like so bad with the buttons right now, because I play with other controllers too for other series. It's just like it's easy to get the controllers mixed up. Let's get up here and snag myself. I'm guessing the maracas? Hestu's maracas, Hestu's beloved maracas. He's been shaking them since he was two years old and he's over a hundred, so you know what? Pretty cool. Oh, the fire went out, good. There's an apple over here. Then I'm gonna go ahead, weapon wise, what can I use here to break the, oh, we have another one? Okay, cool. Let's go ahead and like, let's see. This is not as big as I thought it would. Uh, B. <laughs> I forgot the, the last word there. I guess I'll do this. There you go. What's in here? There was nothing in there. What, what, a, what a trick. What a sham. All right, well, let's bring this back to Hestude. And let's see what we can get from it. Probably not a ton. I can only assume. Like, I just want to think it would be too much. Good night. There we go. <laughs> it didn't really help too much, but it sort of helps once you get a running start. Maracas. <laughs> Shokala, those are, those are my maracas. Please give them to me. Here you go. Oh, cut the black. Shalaka! But wait, there's something wrong with my maracas. The Korok seeds inside are gone. How am I supposed to dance now, Shoko? If I had one Korok seed, I could sing, dance, and use my powers to help you. You see, I have the power of inventory expansion. So let me know if you find some Korok seeds. We have three of them. The children of the forest must have taken the Korok seeds from my beloved maracas. I never thought I'd be I'd be targeted of one of their pranks, Shoko. But wait, 
Do you have a Korok seed? You do! You got a Korok seed from one of the forest children. If you give me just one Korok seed, I'll make your inventory bigger in return. Yes, please. Yes, please. Shalaka! So which stash do you want more slots in? Definitely weapon. Oh yeah! Sha shaki shalaka la la! Oh look at him go! Yatta da da yatta da 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 yeah! <laughs> I love it! Awesome! So there we go, we have one more weapon slot, which means we have two more. Da na 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 na! <laughs> I love Hestu's fourth wall breaking. Your weapon stash has been expanded, shalaka! I still smoke rock seeds onion. Want me to expand your inventory again? Let's go ahead and upgrade our shield stash. Oh yeah! Shaki shaka! Da 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 ya da 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 da! Okay, so we're gonna leave, we're gonna keep the other one. Just because, da 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 da. We might need it for some other situation. I, I highly doubt he's the only guy who can do things with our Karak seeds. Oh, look at the time. I need to get back to Grandpa. He yells at me. You've been waiting here for 100 years, I thought. Sorry, I have to go, but I still need to Karak seeds, so bring some to Korok Forest if you find any. Where's Korok Forest? The princess, the priceless maracas, not the princesses maracas. I thought you were going. Okay. Well, is this? This is Kakariko Village, it's not Korok Village. Keep that in mind. Well, let's keep going. Maybe we'll find more, whoa, look at that bird. Cool, I'm pretty sure that you can take out the birds and any other animal to get food. Hmm. Man, we're making some crazy progress with traveling and everything, it's cool to see. I wanna see if we can't find another tower soon enough, like there's one, but it's pretty darn far off. So I don't know if it'll be the best choice. What is going on over here? There's some more mushrooms. I'll pick this up, Iron Shroom. Armorath. This tough medicinal plant cannot be broken, but it can be cooked. Its durable yet flexible fibers raise your defense when cooked into a dish. Cool stuff. I'll take it. Hmm, I'll take more of whatever you got, game. So if there's cool, you know, herbs that can be used for medicine, this is the Hyrule herb. This healthy herb grows abundantly in the plains of Hyrule. Cook it before eating to increase the number of hearts it restores. So one thing I actually read about, I don't remember if it was in the comment section or in like you know like a Twitter thread or something, is apparently in this game there's something called a blood moon. I don't know what that really means, but ex like exactly, but apparently that means that like all of the bad guys that we've ever taken out will respawn, which is actually pretty cool. Hey dude. Oh. Hi. I can tell you've trained your body well. <laughs> Look at your rock and bot. I'd say you're familiar with both sword and bow, correct? That's a good skill set. Why don't you join the Yiga clan? The Yuga clan? Oh, this guy? What? You, you don't know? We're just gonna play dumb. Fine, I'll tell you, the Yuga clan, it's a powerful, brave group of warriors founded by Master Koga and dedicated to defeating a hero thought long dead. Defeating a hero, what? I will take your life. <laughs> what? <laughs> Excuse me, do you want a tussle? Go back in that river. Hold on, hold on, oh, that hurt. Here, boom, and then I gotta, you wanna go though, we will tussle. I am a tussle machine. You don't wanna mess with this guy. I just love that, he's all like, a hero of one, I will eat your soul. <laughs> Come on, beat him up, beat him up, beat him up. Ooh, is that all you got? Thought, ow, ow. Um, your shield's barely damaged. Okay, don't worry, don't worry. Where are you gonna be? Ooh, boom, eat it, eat it. Oh, you better disappear. What do you, go back to Naruto. Come on, come on, come on. Ready, ready, slice! I got you good. Get out of here, Yiga clan guy. Vicious Sickle, a grim weapon favored by the Yiga, the half moon shape of the blade allows for the rapid delivery of fatal wounds and desert and serves as a symbol of their terror. Its durability is low. Cool, so it's actually less damage than what we currently have. Mighty Bananas! Delicious, my favorite. This fruit grows mainly in tropical forests of the Farren region. When it's used as an ingredient, the resulting dishes temporarily increase your attack power. Wow. Green rupee, single rupee. Its soft green glow puts a smile on your face. A blue rupee, five rupees. Its shiny blue fa facets make you weak in the knees. Oh, glad we picked that up after the fight. Is that all he dropped? <laughs> That was funny. What if we just kept walking then? Blue nightshade, okay, apparently we picked this up before. Would he just like not stop us? I guess not, I mean he did sort of like, we didn't even talk to him, like he just sort of said hi to us, so maybe he would have like hopped out of the bushes. 
I just, ah, oh, I can't get over that. He's just like, hey, dude, I'm just your neighborhood dude. How you doing? I will devour you. Prepare for death. Okay, well, what is going on over here? This is a cool view. What is, ooh, I wonder what's on that little island. There's like a secret to find everywhere in this game. There's no way, like, everything is somewhere for a reason, and I love that. But it also drives me insane, because I can't walk by anything without being able to be like, there's something there, there's something there, and it's gonna be worthwhile. Uh-oh. Okay, there's just a bunch of horses. I thought somebody was hunting down a horse. There's a shrine nearby. Where is there a shrine? I actually do not see one. I have to keep that in mind. What are these signs saying? Uh, examine. Kakariko Village, Hatino Village. This is the way we want to go for sure. I see a lot of cool stuff over there. If I could find a shrine, that actually wouldn't be a bad deal. Because that means I could go ahead and, um, and there's, there's a chest up there. I gotta get that chest. Oh, we're getting that chest. Don't know what the shrine is, but we'll try to hunt down that shrine afterwards if there is one up there, which is my best guess, is that there's a shrine up there, because that would be pretty helpful. Hmm. Let's see. Still don't see a shrine, unless this is it right here, but it's not, that's actually a piece of flint. Hmm. Okay, let's just climb up here. This might be a trap. Actually, this is totally a trap, look at that X. I'm gonna use my last arrow for this, so I'm gonna be angry if it doesn't work. It worked though. Yikes, oh my gosh, it almost landed on this person who just happened to be walking by. Hey! Hey, buddy! M me? Oh, you're so cute! Oh, wait, you, you talking down to me? Want to spend some time with me? Well, I could always, you know, have a chat with people. I mean, you can just add me on Facebook. Well then, can you just close your, okay, what's happening here? What are you, what are you doing? Well then, Helion Champion, now it's time to die! <laughs> I love these, these guys are the best. Evil or not, they're hilarious. Here, come on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Ready, throw, and then, where are you going? Where are you going? Oh, there's another traveler. How much you wanna bet this is another one? You better not take my chest. Help me! Hold on, hold on, ready? Bada boom! Oh, missed him. All right, ow, ow. That killed me, no! One shot and I'm down! Oh my gosh. They're the best, though. Unfortunately, that lady is like nowhere to be seen. Um, how are you? My horse's belly is full. What about yours? We all know horses. <laughs> we all know horses are special, but they're not the only animals that'll let people ride them. I wouldn't waste my time on anything but a horse, but you look like the type of person who doesn't discriminate. You were right. You got anything else to say? Horses aren't the, okay. I get it, dude. See ya. So he's not a he's not a guy who's trying to devour my soul. It's, it's good to know. Good to know who your, your allies aren't. All right, that's nothing, just a rock. I don't see that lady anymore, but you know what? That's fine, because I don't care. Here, let me get closer. <laughs> I can't believe all that trouble for just a little chest. Let's try this one more time. Ready, set. Oh no! Gosh darn it, I'm awful at every video game. No, I don't want this, I need, what is something I don't really want right now? The torch. The torch is always my go-to throw weapon. Are you kidding me? No, 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 no. Come on. It's gonna land on my face though. How am I gonna do this? Can I like break it still? Cause it's gonna hurt me if I climb up here. Well, I might as well try it. It's not gonna break until I open it. Oh well, let's just do it. Oh, it's totally gonna fall. Opal. All right, I'm ready for it to fall. Yo, it didn't fall. I've been worried all this time. It would have been so funny if I could have taken out that evil lady just by dropping a chest on her head, just like, donk, dead. That would have been amazing. Didn't happen that way though. Anyways, we gotta go back on the main path. Because I want to go this way so I can just, you know, see everything there is to see. But the horses are tempting me. You know what? Let's get a horse. Horsey. I want to be like the other guy. Horsey. Come here, horsies. Here, I got to sneak up. Sneak up on you. So I can hop on you and then we'll ride you around nice and fun. Ready? Mount. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I got you. Oh, there is the shrine. Okay, we'll do the shrine. It's always good to have places to quick travel to. And then maybe we can find out with this. Is this a horse stable? Oh, you bet it is. Oh, that's super cool. All right, whoa, wait here, buddy. 
Weird. Come on over. You look familiar. You don't have any masks in there, do you? What's going on? Hey, I don't believe I made your acquaintance. The name's Beetle. Well, you can call me. Actually, let's just stick with Beetle. Beetle. Oh my gosh. You got some uh, very little clothing. Uh, but even if you forget my face, you can remember me by my beetle-shaped backpack. Despite, wow! Despite these dangerous times, you'll find me traveling all over Hyrule to fulfill your shopping needs. I stocked many special bugs and must-have items for travelers, and I always charge a fair price, or my name's not Beetle. I always buy all sorts of things. If you're, part if you're in need of rupees, if you're in need of rupees, gemstones in particular fetch a high price. How can I help you today? What, t what have you got? Uh, I'm sure I have something you'll find useful. Please have a good look. So we have arrows, which actually truly is useful. I just don't know if it'll beat the price as the arrow specialty shop, but I really need some. Uh, I don't. I, I can only buy one. That's sort of the thing. Hmm. And it's sort of the same price, one for five. Like he doesn't do bulk prices. I don't really need any of this stuff otherwise, but I might sell him stuff. Thanks for the business. Do you need anything else? Look at what I've got. Hmm. So what can I sell him? I could sell him the old shirt for 15, actually. That might be worth it. I'll do it. Yeah. There we go. I could just make it. <laughs> yeah, I could just could use that money for better things when that's just gonna be sitting in my inventory. So he doesn't actually buy gemstones. What are you talking about? Oh, no, you could. 30 each for those, 60 each for these. I just don't know what else I'm gonna use these for. I'm gonna always try to make sure I have above five of them. That sounds like a good deal, right? So I have like, I have seven opals, right? I'm gonna sell you two. 120, that's beautiful. Um, and then, do I have any other gemstones? Excessive gemstones? Like what are the things that I have that might fetch a high price? Because like this stuff, it might not actually have any use except for you know selling factor, which is great. But I mean, also a little weird. I don't see anything else that I have an abundance of that I might be able to sell here. I mean, except for this, but I mean, obviously we just used up a moment ago for the fairy lady, and that seemed to work out just fine for us, so we might want to keep those kind of things. All right, well, that seems to be it for the most part when it comes to expensive items, so I'm gonna go ahead and keep with that. I'm gonna go ahead and buy some arrows. Like, I can buy, I'm gonna buy, I'll take them all. Should be 16. Just so I have 10 arrows to use. Thank you for your business. Do you need anything else? Goodbye. I'll see you again soon too, buddy. This horse is beautiful. It's almost like blue. Like blue as the sky. It looks like a it looks like a sky. I'm gonna name her Sky. Cause she looks like a sky. She's bluish and she's got the white clouds. She's beautiful. I love it. There we go, we're going this way. We are going this way and we're getting this shrine done. It's in the water. How are we gonna do this? <laughs> the way you hop off was super cool. Oh, you know what we can do? We can do this. Uh, Let's go ahead and freeze it. Are those spikes? Those are totally spikes, so I gotta be careful here. But there we go. Let's go ahead and do the shrine. This will be the, probably the last thing we do in today's episode is get this shrine done, and then we'll move on. But yeah, I mean, it's been fun, you know, doing this. I, I really, really enjoyed this game, and I enjoy doing this series, so I hope, you know, those of you who have been supporting it continue to do so, because it's very appreciated. But let's go ahead and head on down. To those who set foot in the shrine, I am Ha Damar. In the name of the goddess Helia, I offer this trial. The water guides, Ha Damar Shrine. Interesting. Let's give it a shot. So I'm guessing this will be one related to the uh, thing we just used, the ice thingamajug. So let's go ahead and do that. Raise ourselves up here. Now I noticed a chest up there. Oh, I think I can, wait, can we? Oh, look at this. Very cool. Climb up here, climb up here, and then we're gonna try this again right here, because you can make quite a few of them before they start disappearing. So I think, yeah, we can get up here, no problem. Look at this, look at this. Come on, can we get up there? Yeah, good stuff, Link. So what's gonna be in this chest? Ooh, it's gonna be a purple, wow, we, okay then, so basically almost the entirety of what I just spent on arrows, I just made back, so that's a good deal to me. Hmm. This is looking odd. That is locked. It looks like we're playing a game of golf. Yeah, we're totally playing a game of golf here. So I'm guessing like all this is just a platform. Let me run all the way up and see if I can get like, a better advantage height. Okay, and I could fly down there, but I'm gonna be not really very, it would be very useful. Oh, I seen, I think. 
All right, I think I know what to do here. I need to place one right here, because this is like a moving platform. So if I place it right here, that's gonna prevent it from moving. Then I can place one right here, and hopefully encourage these balls to fall down there, just like that. Oh no. So I need to place one more down here, just like that. And hopefully that'll do everything I need it to do. Yes, it will. Okay, is that first time? Well, not first time, but like, is that the only one we need? Is the first time is good? I think so. Hole in one. Nice, okay. We're doing it, Whoa, don't walk off. I almost just walked off the edge because I could start moving before I could see what I was doing. That would have been awful and I would have been angry. <laughs> oh, and that was it. That was actually one of the easiest trials yet. Holy cow. Hooray. Hooray. Your resource, resource blah, 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 blah. We've heard it, we've heard it, we've heard it. And I can't read it apparently, even though how many times we've heard it. In the name of God is I give this a spirit orb. Orb of spirits. Spirit orb. You know, they call them spirit orbs in Dragon Extra too. Just another similarity between this game and that one. I just want you to know that. Just want you to know. Okay, spirit orb number two. Oh look, the, the horns are gone. Awesome, that makes it even easier for next episode of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Thank you guys so much for watching, and once again, thank you for your support. There's somebody creepily looking at me from over there. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to give this video a like, share it with your friends and family, and of course, comment in the comment section below. If you watched this point in the video, make sure you comment Kokiri Zebra, so I know you've watched the video, and you're a Zebra Tazzy viewer. By the way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.